What is going on YouTube? It's your boy CP and today we're back for a brand new video. Today we're going to be reacting to some gym TikToks. Y'all, if y'all have been following me for a while, then you know that I started going to the gym last year. Um, I recently started posting it on my YouTube channel, but if you've been on my TikTok and my Instagram, you know I've been going to the gym for a while. So, but um, I thought I thought this would be a fun idea for a video just to, to just do something new, but let's get into it. Bro, what are you doing? That's not how you do that exercise. I, I, I don't know what you call that, but that's definitely not how you're supposed to do it. Okay, look, I'm, I'm gonna be real with y'all. Some of y'all be taking that anime shit way too seriously. Bro, honestly, this is probably one of the most annoying things anyone could ever do at any gym. Don't matter if it's crunch, Planet Fitness, any anywhere you go, if you do this, you're you're probably a menace to society, and you need to just leave the gym completely. Work out at home. I'm never going to a public gym again. How many sets do y'all left? Sorry, how many sets do y'all left? Look, I understand that sometimes the gym is crowded and there's very limited stuff that's actually open. And I'm all for people getting their workout in. If you got a routine and you want to do certain things on certain days, I get it. But one thing you don't do is interrupt somebody's set just because you want to get on the machine that they're on. Wait your damn turn. Because this happened to me last week and it irritated the crap out of me. Two. Okay. Literally one minute later. Excuse me. So, I'm going to be honest. You've been on this machine for like forever now. I've been waiting. Uh, okay, I, I only have like two sets left here to wait. It's just really annoying because I pay for a membership here and I've been waiting like the whole time I've been here. She says that she pays for a membership there. So does everyone else in the gym, except for maybe a few guests or whatever. Like, you're, that don't make you better than everybody else in the gym. And if somebody's on the equipment that you want to use, guess what you can do? You can move on with the rest of your workout and go back to it. That's what I have to do when I have to wait on the Smith machine, especially on back and bicep days. I hate, hate when I have to wait on it. But I still, I don't go up to them. I don't tell, I don't rush nobody. It, only time it's okay to try to rush somebody is if they literally been on their phone the whole time. That's the only time it's okay. But other than that, no, don't don't be rushing people. If they're actually doing their set, and like I can, if they do like a like a two to three minute break in between each set, that's fine, cool. But if they're sitting there on the phone the whole time and then do like five five reps of something and then five ten minutes on their phone five reps like that that's when it's okay to rush somebody off but other than that don't do it, it it's it's messed up uh, i mean yeah like, i'm just, about to go to the front desk just give me like two like two minutes maybe i, I just don't i don't up. have a ton of time i have kids at home i just need to hop on this machine get it done can you just please get off of, like, just to give me like 30 more seconds i promise like 30 more seconds I'll okay whatever you know for years i genuinely never understood why people go to the gym either super early in the morning or super late at night when i tell them just you could go during the day and still get the same workout stuff like this is why so like now now i like since i actually go to the gym and i've been doing it because i see why people don't don't like going during the day because i'll tell y'all this especially especially i play in fitness but it's probably at every gym the worst times to go to the gym is anywhere between three and three and five p.m no i'll tell you that probably three to four p.m bad time to go during the week and then anytime after i'll say five to about seven seven thirty ish during the week don't don't go to the gym but if you go there before three o'clock during the week and then um after about seven thirty to eight during during like a regular monday through friday that that's when it's completely empty. The weekends, it, nine times out of ten, when I go to the gym, it, it's fair game. No matter what what time I go, I could go at one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, nine a.m., ten a.m. I'm not really a morning person, so like even on my days off, I don't really go to the gym in the morning. But I I will say say this: like, if you go, the, I don't want to say the earlier you go, the better on the weekend. But the it, it, it's super it's super empty in the gym on the weekends.
And that leads to the Yeah, definitely take mine. I promise you. Look at my Nah, hold on. I don't agree with this one. <laughs> because that bed was minding his own business doing curls and she intentionally started working out in front of him. So that would have been her fault, if anything. Proof no one is watching you in the gym. That could have been really, really bad if it was a heavier weight, but luckily it, it wasn't that heavy, so he could have just he could just flip it and bring it down like that. But I, I peeped I peeped the guy behind him that kind of glanced over at him. He could have helped. Just saying. <sighs> oh man, he's grabbing the one fifties. Those are the heaviest dumbbells in here. I bet he does some shrugs. <sighs> No way, bro. How is that possible? That is illegal to do that much weight. 225, solid. This is probably his first time bench pressing this. That's a good weight for his age. <sighs> Ain't no way he just did skull crushers with 225. Who was she and what did she do to you? All right, bro's got 315 on the bar. Let's see what he does with it. <sighs> I'm not seeing this right. Hold up. 315 behind the next strict press. What kind of demons is bro fighting? No lie though, I will say this. Nothing will push you more in the gym than getting your heart broken. <laughs> because when you in there and you fighting demons, then that them demons be helping you live. And when you, if you go stupid, like honestly a heartbreak is probably the best pre-workout. Like, I mean, what I try to do sometimes if I have a bad day at work, which with, with some people I deal with, I have a lot of bad days or like if I just get annoyed or a angry at someone or whatever happened, I, I'd be like, oh, bro, I'm about to go stupid in the gym. I, and a lot of time it helps. But a heartbreak is probably like better than all pre-workout creatine and anything you could take. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you leave a like. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'll see you guys next time.